Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 9, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we're going to do some additional enhancements and modifications to the partial payments system that we worked on in our order entry database in previous classes, level 8 and before. And we're also going to start a new project today. We're going to start building a test taker database. Now, even if your business or your personal needs, even if you have no reason to build a test taker, well, this lesson is going to have a lot of new information and a lot of uh, cool stuff for you. And I get a lot of requests from people that um, have been asking me to start a new project and to uh, to show some additional ways to uh, to you know set up tables and relationships and uh, so we're going to get into starting a, a new project we're going to go back to the order entry database obviously but uh, we're going to take a little side trip here and build a brand new database um, and you can use this in a lot of different types of businesses you can use this for you know um, employee certifications and all that kind of stuff but the lessons that are going to be covered the the concepts that are going to be covered are going to be vital um, when we get back into our order entry system. So this is one of those things where, trust me, even if you think you don't need it, watch the test taker lessons because there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Prerequisites, of course, you should have taken Access Developer Level 8 and everything that comes before it, including my beginner, expert, and optionally the advanced series. The advanced series covers macros, but there's still a lot of good stuff in there with event programming. For those of you who've never taken my classes before, they're broken up into beginner, expert, advanced, and developer. This is the developer series. And every series is broken up into different levels. This is level 9. The student databases for today's class can be found at 599cd.com slash databases. I'm recording using Microsoft Access 2016 with Office 365. However, everything covered in today's class should work all the way back to Access 2007. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, it probably will work with 2003 and before as well. I really didn't do too much different stuff. Uh, I think you're good all the way back to 2003. But if you're using 2003, you really should consider upgrading to 2016. It's, it's getting kind of old now. All right, so let's take a look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to take some time and do some miscellaneous housekeeping. A bunch of little things that came up over the last couple of lessons that I'm going to fix today. For example, we're going to add our search form to our main menu. We're going to have it so it opens a customer when you double click on it. Uh, we'll show hide the manager button. Uh, we have some problems when we uh, delete a payment. It needs to mark the order unpaid. There's a lot of little things like that that we're going to go over in this lesson. In lesson two, we're going to begin a new project called the Test Taker Database. Now, I've gotten lots of emails from people throughout uh, the end of the Expert Series, the Advanced Series, even now in the Developer Series, and people have been asking me if I could take a little more time and go through, you know, setting up a new database with, with table layouts and structures and relationships and, and just, you know, some more different examples rather than the customers and orders. Now, I do have the Relationship Seminar, which is a great seminar. Watch it. It covers all the different types of relationships. But I started recording a different seminar. I was going to make this test taker thing a separate seminar a few years ago. I started it, in fact. And I recorded a bunch of video for it, which you're going to see in just a few minutes. Um, but I was thinking to myself, this is the perfect database to show you, again, how to set up a new database with some different tables. And, you know, we're going to basically be building a database where, you know, students can can take a test on the computer. And, you know, it'll ask questions and you can have multiple choice, fill in the blank. And even though this might not be something relative to your business or what you're using access for, I'm going to cover a lot of new techniques. Now, the first lesson or two is just going to be some database setup. But don't worry, I'm going to add extra lessons onto the end. So that's why this lesson's going to, this today's course is going to be a little bit longer because the first lesson or two is just table set up and relationships and stuff. But watch it because I want you to follow along with it. And if you're struggling at all with table structure and relationships, then take the time. I know this lesson's about 40 minutes long. Watch it because I go through setting up all the different tables and make sure you comprehend exactly what I'm doing. As you can see here in the screenshot, you know, you get departments like math, English, science, you know, and they relate to certain classes like math 101, math 102, math 103. You know, each class can have different tests. Each test can have different answers. There's students, as you can see on the bottom there. So I want you to see how all the relationships work between the different tables. I want you to understand the referential integrity, what's going on there. So uh, this lesson's mostly going to be review, but 
what we're going to do then is when we get into the actual taking of the test stuff, we're going to get into some really cool VBA. I'm going to show you how you can, you know, have the database actually, you know, ask the questions and store the results in the table and, you know, we'll do some SQL and some really cool stuff. So this is just, there's going to be a little bit of setup involved before we get to the really cool stuff, which we'll do very shortly. All right, so enjoy this. Uh, you'll, you'll notice the date. I actually recorded this back in 2016, but we're going to, we're going to do more advanced stuff with this soon. So enjoy. In lesson three, we're continuing with the test taker database that we started in part two. We're going to build some supporting forms. In lesson four, we're continuing with our test taker. We're going to build a question form with an answer subform right below it so we can very easily and quickly add new answers or change them, delete them, whatever. And we'll have a checkbox so we can indicate which answers are correct. In lesson five, we're continuing with our test taker. This is part four. We're going to make a form to begin actually taking the test. We'll have different combo boxes so you can pick a student and then we'll drill down department class test. We'll disable them as we go along. So when we pick science, it'll filter the class and show you just the classes from that department and so on. We'll make a begin test button that will assign the test taker ID with a little insert into SQL statement and then we'll use DMAX to look it back up again so we can use it for actually taking the test. So lots going on in this lesson.